Hello YouTube. I'm going to show you how I converted my 10-speed Freehub to fit a 11-speed cassette. This particular modification I'm going to show you only works with Freehubs that have over 2 millimeters of room on the inside of the Freehub. Do this at your own risk. I'm not responsible for any injuries or damage you may incur while doing this. I'm really showing you what I did to get an 11-speed cassette on my 10-speed wheels. My particular free hub has 2.4 millimeters of room on the inside of the hub. 11 speed hubs are 1.8 millimeters longer than 10 speed hubs. I've read on the internet that you need to remove at least 1.5 millimeters of material to get the 11 speed cassettes to fit. I shaved off about 1.6 millimeters on my hubs. First, you need to remove your free hub. My hub requires two 5mm Allen wrenches to take the hub off. You'll notice I've already done the modifications to my hub. Besides the tools needed to remove the cassette and the free hub, all I used were digital calipers and a file covered with paper on one side. The paper was to protect the hub body while I'm filing the inside splines. I wrapped the paws in blue tape to keep the metal shavings out. I also wrapped the middle of the splines to, with blue tape to protect them. I only left the air that I wanted to file unprotected. This picture shows the first spline that I shaved down. This is the actual finished product, but I want to show you how I filed the hub. The paper side of the file rubs against the body of the hub to ensure I'm filing the hub straight. I'm constantly measuring how much material I'm shaving off. I make sure every spline is filed down by the same amount, around 1.6 millimeters. This is the final product. This took me about two hours to file down. As you can see, for my particular wheel set, there's still plenty of room for the chain in the largest cog. I just want to reiterate that this is what worked for my particular wheel set, this solution may not work for everyone. Thanks for watching.